Good morning to you. This morning I'm going to cover question 2 of COS 2611, May June 2014. It says here implement the operation divide at, which is part of class linked list type. See Appendix A. This operation divides a given list into two sublists. Consider the following statement. Unordered linked list int my list and unordered linked list int sublist. Suppose my list points to the list with elements 34, 65, 27, 89, and 12 in this order. The statement my list divide at sublist 2 divides my list into two sublists. My list contains the elements 34 and 65 and sublist contains the elements 27, 89 and 12. Use the following header void divide at linked list type type and sublist and then it gives us an int and a pos and then it says you can assume that the list has more than one element and that pos is greater than or equal to 1. So that helps out because what's nice in here is they're already giving us um, this int pos which they're passing through to us and if we go down to the appendix A you will notice there that, um, that they've given us three protected types here. The, the two are, these are two pointers, um, first and last. First holds the very first record of the list and last holds the very last record of the list. An int count that holds how many um, items we have in the list. Okay, So there's other functions that uh, perform the features that we need but our main uh, task here is to use the divide at. Okay, So I'm going to try and explain it as best as I know how. And I hope that this will help um, get you through the exam. I've taken it. Uh, I've taken the answer from uh, from the memo which Unisa have provided us. Okay, and so I'm going to go, just basically explain what is written in the memo, try and help us to understand. Um, so let's go for it. All right, uh, we just want to. Okay, so COS 2611, Programming, Data Structures, May, June 2014. Okay, so first, the first step that we have to think about is that we do not want to use the first and the last variables that, uh, or the first and the last, um, what's this name, um, pointer variables that we have. To go through the list because if we use them we would never be able to get back to the front of the list so the first and the last always hold the first and the last of um, a given list okay so first of all we need to declare two pointer variables of node type type okay so this is this is how we declare the um, two pointer variables can see we're going to use one as uh, to hold the current wherever the our current traversal is and then pre prev which is going to hold the previous traversal so what I've done here is I've used the the what they've uh, put in the in the um, appendix and you can see this is my protected variable first and this is my protected uh, um, variable last of, and those are pointer variables. Okay, I don't want us to get confused here. So now what happens is when we declare a, a pointer variable like current and prev, all they're actually doing is they're saying, hey, guess what? I, I'm at an address on your computer and I, I'm currently here. But in a linked list, it needs to know where is the next address for the next variable. So that's what this info and link is all about. The info is um, the number that is being held at that address. 
and the link is where the address of the next um, the next node so so that it can say 65 is that uh, address 0x00080 kind of thing okay and what you'll see is I've set I've shown here that count equals 4 on the basis that you start count at 0 because you know in programming normally you say um, int i equals 0 and then you you count so that's why I'm using that I've got uh, four total notes um, but in reality if we counted it like some of us would we would say there's five because we start with one so that's why I've just uh, highlighted these bottom and purple and then in a linked list the very last one is always going to be null okay so those are easy things to remember about linked lists okay so I've created these little chains to help us like remember and think of them as that's how we traversing the list is through these links and they uh, helping us yeah they they keeping the that array um, all all in in order okay all right so the next the next thing is to also declare an integer variable for the iteration so that we know what is the current um, what is the current location of, um, of of our iteration? Where are we currently? I know that we've got um, pos, and um, uh, I know they they use pos, yeah. And then i i is um, yeah uh, and count. They have pos and count. Pos is obviously past due to the um, variable and count is part of our protected um, variables all right so basically um, yeah we do we just doing that okay so the next step now is now is um, the logic is how do we divide a link or how do we break a chain without causing the system to crash because even though we have these links we need to they, they're going to be two separate links so we're dividing one big uh, link into two separate links so it's like getting bolt cutters and, and cutting a link off okay so now what is our ultimate goal so what I've done is I've highlighted here that our first step that we would need to do is to set um, sublist sublist first to equal current dot link because before we before we have this break uh this is still pointing to here so we we saying that we want our sub list to pick up the address of the current link which is, would be pointing to 27 okay and then the second one is to make sure that our last sub list um the sub list last equals the, the the current last value so that we don't lose track of that last position okay and then what happens is we then move last to where previous or current is um, because now you must remember even though we said current link this is what is classified as current link and then link makes us go to the next one whereas current is basically this node so we've got last previous and current on this one specific node but if we we could use previous dash link we could use last dash link we could use current dash link once the once these guys are set here so what we're doing is we're saying let's set um let's set last to previous and then so last will be removed from here and it'll go automatically to this node here but we still kept sublist last as last over here so sublist knows that this is the last value for itself okay then the next thing we do is we need to set um set this as a null so that we can uh i think we set the yeah last the last dot link which yeah which what which is what we've just moved to null so 
So we're basically saying this last dot link must be set to null so that we terminate the first list and then we are able to carry on traversing through the second list. So if we have a look at our code, you will see here that um, yeah, first we declare the two pointer variables, which was the node types type and current in the previous. So these are pointer variables. The second one we declare an integer variable for iteration. They've declared it here, but uh, for the life of me, I don't understand why they do it. I know when I normally do code, I would have declared it for int equals i or int i equals 2. So I would have declared it here. But let's just keep it in a neat format like that. And then as you can see, what they're doing is they're saying, what is the current position which is being passed through into here? Um, if the current position is less than the count, and remember count is the one that holds how many nodes we've got. And we said we've got four. So if the position is, say, zero, and count is four, then obviously the position is less than count, which means it'll execute here. So what do we do first is we set the previous, our new, our new, um, yeah, our new, what's his name? Uh, variable function pointer. Yeah, pointer variable to to the first, which is basically almost. Uh, which is this first very first node um, and then we set current to first dot link which is this this part which is pointing obviously to our our next info so that's why I showed you in the previous the previous one here um, we're doing we're basically doing this here on this format so we're saying previous gets signed to the first okay and then current gets signed to um, current dot link, okay. And then um, yeah, okay. So current equals first dot link because that was yeah that's what was first link, okay. Then we're saying for i equals two because we know that uh, we want position uh, two is where we're going to break. If i is less than or equal to the position, and obviously we know that um, pos needs to reach two, and then uh, it will it won't execute this uh, this for loop anymore. Then it goes r plus plus, which is the incremental. It says we set our previous to previous dot link. So all that it does is it moves previous from this node to previous dot link which would be pointing to this node so now this would become previous over here okay and then current equals current dot link so current would be moved to uh, this position because current was already on this node and it now moves to the next node current dot link okay and then what it what we're doing is we're saying sublist dot first because now we've finished with the for loop so once it's found okay number two we've gone to node two then we will have previous over here and we'll have current over here so we're going to say sublist first equals current dot link okay which which is this part over here because current would have moved and then it's over here okay then it says sublist dot last equals last. So this was originally last, this number 12. So now we're saying sublist last must equal last. And we're getting the sublist from this past variable over here that they sending through. Okay. So that is what we do uh, for 3.2. Then we now set last to previous because remember this is no more current um, or it is I suppose yeah still current and this is previous and this is um, now being moved last equals previous okay 
And then what we're doing is we're saying we want to set this last link equals null. And like I say, we could easily use prev link equals null, current link equals null, but let's just stick to what they've got, last link equals null. Then they've gone and they've said our sublist we need to count. So we're taking the sublist.count equals count minus i, which is i was our iteration. Okay. And then we're setting the normal count, which is this count over here for this list, to equal the length less the pos. Okay. Um, I don't know where they got length from, but yeah. Um, that one confuses me. Okay, but yeah, now that is confusing because it's pos I would know would be position two because we, we're passing the pos through here, but length can't remember where it comes from. All right, so I hope this has been helpful. It seems very confusing. I know it's a lot to take in, but the important things are is noticing where this this snippet of code is, noticing that this snippet of code is defined or set to a maximum of two, and then noticing that this is where it all starts, or the, the traversal of the link starts here, and then our declaration over here is very important, as you can see. So I hope that you can get these 10 easy marks. Best of luck for the exam. I'm sure you guys will do well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.